So be that all then. Yes. Alright. Yeah, I'll let you first. heal another four points of ego with Quinn's help during the night. Well, and the, also, if, that, if that's a problem, I could also I could always heal him. You know, that is true. You do have spells back, so does Quinn. So, yeah. so uh, let's just see what. Yeah, you heal for seven. Whatever, you're full. Uh, do you have a second heal for me? Oh yeah, sure. I'm down ten still. Well, you get five back. Uh, you still don't have your plus on there. Hmm? You still don't have your plus on there. Your uh, plus uh, caster level, isn't it? So that would be a plus two. So. Oh yeah, that's true. That's actually, so yeah, that Eagle gets nine caster. back. I get seven back. Mm -hmm. Or max, I can get back anyway. And Quinn heals for six. So is there anyone who needs that? Yeah. Uh, I'm d I'm still three down. So. Yeah. So you you heal up to maximum. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so have you thought about some other spells to memorize before you go to sleep, Grub? Yeah, I'm just uh, going through them right now. Um, yeah, we can go on. I think I've chosen what I need to cho choose. Uh, oh yeah. HD, when HD is mentioned in the rule set, that's hit dice, yes? Hmm? HD, is that hit dice? Yes, that's hit, that's, uh, hit dice, yes. Okay. Well, y'all have an uneasy time at night, on this new ship, under the new captain. Mm. And when you be waking up tomorrow, it'd be a new glorious day for new glorious work. Hooray. Let me guess, I'm in the bills again, aren't I? Yep. That's your job from, up, from now on. Working diligently then. Alright. 24! This is 28. <laughs> See, you were made for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're basically just wasting a lot of uh, good rolls here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been a roll to hit. Could have been a roll to hit on Scourge's head. Yep. What about you, Grump? Yeah, rolling. Let's see. That was a. I think that's a bender. Yeah, bullshition. Well, you notice that uh, the good cook isn't drink drinking as much as he used to. Okay, why is that? Oh. Um, Talk with him. What's going on? He seems to have gained a little bit more of a sense of purpose after having left the ship. Although he's definitely worried about serving under Mr. Plug. So with Harrigan, he was scared for his life under Plug. He's at least function. Yeah. He explains to Grum that, well, the reason why he served under, under Captain Harrigan was that well, he had uh, unfortunately made a bet with him, and the end being his life. Okay. So he's definitely happy of being free of of Captain Harrigan now. Hmm. Well, I think we have another ally. Mm. Or at least a firm neutral. Uh -huh. And an army of chickens. But chickens. How many pigs were brought onto this ship? 
it, 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 enough it's... provisions were brought on ship to last you uh, until port peril. So basically, in the event that uh, Eldis does get any uh, pig cuttings, then he's definitely got enough there. Yeah. We also have an army of pigs. <laughs> yeah. A veritable, uh, just... a veritable horde of pigs. Just, just pour oil, oil on them and light them on fire and... You know. It, during victory, my daily activities, can I, can I try and um, sneak around and like, uh, you know, pick off weapons of the opposite guys, like you know, from from the lockers or something, and then just hide them somewhere? Well, you can definitely try. Does a sneak check will do? Stealth check, even. Right. Stealth check, yeah. Point three. Not quite too visible. What I'm basically trying to do is, like, you know, like in, in, in between work, like, sneak off and see if I can find, like, a small weapons cache somewhere and just, like, lift it and hide it myself somewhere, or I just chuck it overboard. Alright. Basically, I want the other guys to have as least weapons, you know, as possible, and we have all the weapons on us and at all times armed. For the time being, the loyal pirates are all carrying their weapons. Okay. Can I steal some of them as I go along? With this sneak check? Can I lift like, daggers from someone or something? That would be a sleight of hand check, not a sneak check. Should I do that then? If you want to. Yeah, sure. So who do you actually want to try and uh, lift something off? Um, I think... Shivika, I'll start with her. Alright. <laughs> wow. Boom! And her on the pants. <laughs> <laughs> Lift the whip. Lift everything. Lift the whip. Lift. Yeah, just leave Shivika naked, doesn't know what the hell just happened. Exactly. Level up. So, is there anything you specifically want to try and take from her since you succeeded? Oh yeah, the, 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 I guess the whip is the, the main issue here. Yeah. Right, well, you managed to slip off the moldy old whip she has on her hip. Mm -hmm. Chuck it overboard immediately. Yep. Don't want that. Alright. I'm sure she won't notice that. Oh, come on. So that is, it's a critical and it's, and it's dirty. Come on. Not gonna notice it now, but not now, but I mean I think you've just set the trigger for our mutiny to happen a bit early. Well good. Well, you know, maybe, maybe not. Anything else? Let's we'll see how this plays out. Anyone else? I work diligently, so I don't have any actions. I actually do have an action, but I'm not really sure what the fuck to do with it. Mm. I yeah, this this yeah this one. Uh, I, I I basically take some time and uh, explore it beneath the uh, low decks just to figure out uh, what the connections, how how the cabins aft connect to the rest of the hold. I mean, what walls there are and uh, where the junctions are, if we can smash through them or whatever. If there are any doors from the cabins uh, aft into the hold, into the midship. I explore that part. All right. Well, you find something of note. You see that in the, the cook's cabin, there's actually a ladder that leads up to the captain's cabin. Uh -huh. Ah, nice. Why would that be there? 
Fox food hexes hatch. <clears throat> mm, yeah, the munchies during the night. Exactly. Anything else? <coughs> <coughs> well, other than that, uh, both the officer's cap, cap, uh, captain and the captain's captain are just connected via the main deck. So they're just on that level and not not not, not below in any way. No, not, at least not what you can see. A thorough search might uh, show something else, but. Yeah, so no, so basically, if I just go through the hold or the throw the lower deck, if I just go from, you know, above decks one one level down, and I can basically go just walk through different compartments and rooms all the way to the back of the boat. Yes. Yeah. Well, okay. That means that everything is basically on the upper level. I can. Uh, I'll, I'll just uh, go through it yourself. You try and see what the layout is. So that I can't go through the fucking doors. Oh, sorry. I should probably get those. No real reason to actually have them. There we go. Well, based on this and um, the image that I still have in my mind from above, there's still some fucking room behind here. Here, you know. Yeah, that would be the cook's cabin with the ladder. Ah, oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Amber, that works. Amber also points out uh, there's a trap door in his in the galley going down into the secure storage. So wait, back here is there's this the galley and the cook's cabin. Yeah, the galley is the bigger room of the two. You just walk out over there and look. Oh yeah, okay, I had shit below, uh, beneath. Oh. Hmm, okay. And the trap door down to secure... Or where, where's this trap door lead? It leads down to a secure storage room. And who has access to this? That would be the captain and the first mate. Hmm. Although the trap door isn't locked. Well, this could be worth exploring later. Um, so from the cooks, from this part of the ship, the aft part, they have one tractor going up to the captain's cabin and one tractor going down one level somewhere. Okay. Can I go down one more level? Can you move me down one more level? And the door you see there is locked. Oh, so this door is locked, but the, the, the hatch itself is not locked. No. Also, mm, there's okay. a trap door leading down to the bilge, which, of course, Edge is familiar with from from his uh, days in the bilge. Yeah, I was actually going to ask, could you reveal the hallways for all of the decks now, since we've had, like, a day on this ship now, we've had a chance to sort of, like, get a feel for the layout and everything. I just wanted to see, sort of, like, you know, where, you know, what my route to the bilge and from the bilge is and things like that. I just wanted to be able to see that. Let me just activate. Because chances are, when we do this mutiny, it's going to be in the day, and I'm going to be down in the bills when it happens. <coughs> so how much can you guys actually see right now? Um, it revealed a bit of sea, but there's definitely a shadow around the boat. Yeah. Good. Just, just, just oh. all, all the time, you can't see through the hole, you can't see into the captain's cabin and all that. But... I, I can't see anything at the moment. I can't see anything that's inside there. That the, the ship is a wall for me right now. Yeah, I can see here a little bit because I think this is a window, like right here. But it's, all, it's, it's just a small streak of you yeah, know. Definitely light. a window. If I move this around, I can see fish guts. Okay. <coughs> no, if you come down to here like this, 
I'm going to I'll turn off restrict movement movement. Just don't uh, go into the officers or the Okay. Okay, so don't go in here. Don't go any further right than I am right now. Yeah. Oh wait, so okay. that's the that's that's the go. Okay. There we go. Just so I don't have to keep moving you guys around. Yeah, I know. This is oh, wow. the it's, it's supposed to be is empty. Is that the bilge? Is that the size of the bilge on this ship? Yep. Oh shit there. Let me know in the wonder I'm rolling twenties. <laughs> It's still full. Okay, it's and, the size and, of the damn ship. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and well, the thing to, to my right here is uh, is uh, just the secret thing. So the, the 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 thing to my right here, this this, this is the secret hole thing. Where the hatch is in, uh, is is up. To your right. Well, you're on Where the landing, right? No, I'm on. I'm, I'm, oh, sorry, uh, right here. That's yeah, the that's the secret room. Okay. Cool. That's the well, secret. No secret. That's a secure storage. A secure storage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so okay. Where is the hatch to the bilge? I think here is the one the at the bilge. Is the right is it below me? No. Is is if you go over there again to the door, into the secure storage, there's a trap door. This one. No, right there. Oh there. Oh here. It's, it's yeah. this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that was the one I was looking. Okay, yeah, I, I was looking at the trap door, and I thought you were talking about that being the route into secure storage. Oh, no, it's it's like there's a there's a. Okay, so if I'm running up from the bilge, I come up in here, I go up these stairs, and then that gets me into crew quarters here. So then I have to run back out again, go up the stairs, and then I'm on deck. Right, okay. Or you can go through the secret room here and go up to, to the cabin, uh, the captain's cabin. Yeah, I'm, at the moment I'm just running on the assumption that I don't know about that secret room yet. So. We still have time, so, you know, Thorgar could tell us. I will. That uh, secure storage needs investigating. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, good work, already. All right, well, as you work and have a merry time on the new ship. It's hard to hear murmurs from the other crew, you know, more so than you did before. Which was really starting to worry about what's going to happen once they reach Port Peril. As you have already pointed out, what exactly are you supposed to do in Port Peril? What would happen to your crew when you get there? Well, <coughs> well you know. Also, you notice that uh, also during the, during the day, Tibsk comes over to Igor. Oh, sorry, Landro. And he just kind of leans in, you know, while pretending to still be working. Uh -huh. And she just kind of goes, "There'll be something I'll be having to tell you." Mm -hmm. Which would be. It seems like the, we're not heading to Port Peril. It could have fooled me. So where do you think we're going? They were talking about sailing to the Slivering Coast. Somewhere called the Rickety Scribs. That sounds I'm afraid disgusting. I don't know exactly the port of that, the, that, that exact port, so... I'm not entirely sure what we're, what we're planning to do when we get there, but it seems like the cap Captain Plug is not going to be following Harrigan's orders. Slips or slips? Rickety squips. Squips, no, sorry. Squips. Okay, well, thanks for sharing. <coughs> oh, and there's another, another thing. Apparently he'll only be wanting to go there with the crew members he thinks are loyal. <laughs> Noted. Just be watching your box. Maybe. Thank you. You, too. you as well. <laughs> wow. Ominous. <clears throat> okay, well, you know. Tibbs, secret agent. Did it? I kind of wish I had the. Group. Oh, actually, let me just. Let's see if I can actually find it. Wait, can I do sense motive on tips? Like, you know, yes. if, can I see if she's actually, like, you know, actually telling the truth or not? 
What do I feel? Oh, that would be a sense motive. There you go. You, you don't notice uh, her lying. She, her fear seems to, or concern seems to be genuine, as far as you can tell. Cool, cool. I'll uh, stick with that. Is that the day activity you've done then? Is that the day done then, Well, well, you still have uh, certain something else, Eagle, that you had on the ship, that you had on the F part of the ship. Oh yeah, the stupid parent. Oh yeah, I'll call it back then. Do we have to make a handle animal check for that? To actually make it come back, or...? Is no, it just, no, no, no. Just make a Maybe it just... Maybe it just comes back when its recording capacity is full. Yeah. Flip tape <laughs> Before it actually starts overriding, you know, yeah. previous data. Flip tape over. <laughs> the parrot is very, upside down. It's a very old parrot. Okay, well, you know. What does the parrot have to say? Oh, you want to listen to it now? Please. You know, during the day? Oh, fuck hell, then, oh wait, th th that's why I asked, like, are we done with the day activities? Yes, you are now done with the day, day activities, if you Thank don't you. listen to parrot, and you'll be heading over to the evening dinner of seed biscuits. Yeah, it's seed biscuits. Rum. Does the same thing happen? Does the loyal crew go into the captain's quarters? No, the, the, the loyal crew stay over, stay, uh, you know, with you. Except that you're now missing two of your friends. Apparently they have been shifted over to the officer's cabin. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let me guess, it's the women. Yes, apparently Coswell and Jake has now been transferred over to the officer's cabin. Jake? Ew. God damn it. Well, first off, I just... No, no, I don't share. Fucking shitty gun at all. I can't turn that. So, what will your night action be? Well, certainly not any fun. Yeah, probably can't have fun. Well, you can try to. Yeah. Well, I'll just mention the Torgar in Torvish that we apparently are not going to Port Peril and it's to a place called Brickety Squibs. Hmm. A place of which I know nothing. Me neither. So, can I do a, a, lo a knowledge local? See if yep. I can. Oh, wait, it's a quick thing. Probably not going to do anything because it's like a plus one or some shit. Knowledge local. Seventeen. Yeah, you seem to have remember something, reading or hearing something about it being a place where, well, you can basically sell the ship. Uh -huh. You can you can refit the ship to attain a new identity, as it were. All right. Oh, it's it's a fucking naval chop shop. It is. It is a naval <laughs> chop shop. <laughs> what I was thinking about. Yes. Okay, that's it. That's like. Uh... It's like one of those spray shops in uh, GTA. Yeah. But that's that, that, that's all it's known for. It's not like a, a big slave center or some shit. Because that's what I'm most worried about. That we're just gonna get sold off into slavery. And, uh, nope. Just a uh, shop shop. Mm. Just a place to make sure the ship doesn't wouldn't be recognizable by anyone who has seen it previously. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Well, during this conversation, I mentioned my discoveries below deck about the trapdoor from um, the cook's cabin up to the captain's cabin, mm -hmm. and also the trapdoor down into this uh, apparently locked room. And the trapdoor is not secured in any fashion. So uh, maybe we should uh, investigate its contents. We could. Yeah, we could check what's what's in there. Well, I guess I could check what's in there. Um, yeah, you the sneaky kind. Yeah. Shall I just make a, uh, a stealth check again? See if I can get below deck unnoticed. Sure. Also, uh, 
Are you drinking or talking with anyone else during this whole thing? Are you during the evening, or are you still just kind of hanging around by yourself, like your own little free man group? Well, try to in, in you know include <clears throat> as much people around us as possible. But I just wanted to. Well, th this this conversation was a short one. Basically. Yeah, the dwarf is sure that we could, because everyone else is around now. I don't know. Apparently. I can mention I can mention Bickety Squibs to Quinn. I guess she she being the whole pirate cleric and all. Well, she definitely knows about it. Uh -huh. She just confirms what you also thought you had read about it or heard about it. They will chop chop. And Redline brings up an interesting, uh, you know, in interesting thing about the ship having turned in another direction. It's not sailing towards Port Peril anymore. You know, he's not yeah. entirely sure why. Well, you know, mention Bickety Squibs. And you're going to get to so you mentioned the yeah, plan on just the destination. The, yeah, the, the, the destination has changed. That it's probably going to rickety squibs. And you know, your friends just stare at each other, pondering why exactly he would be doing that, going against Captain Harrigan's orders. Exactly. Well, anywho, uh, I'm going to sneak into the shadows now. I just go, oh, look, over there! And then... Oh, God. You are the knight. Alright, what do you want to do with an eagle? Well, I want to sneak down towards the uh, the hatch that was open, right? I can just go drop, drop into the thing from the hatch. Right. You're now in the, in the secure storage room. I are. I are. I R. I R. Our storage room's gold is uh, it's fairly nice. Be you wanting to do anything else with it? Oh, you can I look around for stuff? Hey, perception check. Hey. Okay. Hey, well, Yakin, I see absolutely nothing. Okay. Well. Plenty of crates and uh, empty boxes and uh, empty chests and all that. Apparently, the hall was completely emptied by the captain. Well, this was productive. That was a waste of fucking rolls. So oh, nothing, nothing but provisions, basically. Well, empty crates, apparently. No, no, the security storage isn't where they, they oh, keep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, basically, our ship has nothing but provisions. Yes. That we're as light as fucking ever, just to get... And the secure storage itself is completely empty of any any kind of goods. Okay, well, that can back up that Well, that's a fucking wash. So we're, 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 we're steering a, an empty ship to a naval chop shop instead of going to Port Peril, and we don't even know what, what, what we're supposed to do at Port Peril. Let alone the, well, the, the naval chop shop. Apparently, we need to refit it. But well, you, know. you can always surmise and try to figure out why the good, the new good captain would be wanting to change the ship. He wants to keep it. Well, yeah. Or he wants to swap it out for something else. I mean, if he's just basically going to sell it, then he can buy something else. Wait, when I'm down yeah. there in the. Um, in the in the thing here. Can I just listen to the parrot what he has to say? Yes. Say so it's still a little bit there. Uh... Oh, there it is. And he basically just relays the the words of the good captain. Mm -hmm. Hey, so you may have been heard. That the good captain Hurricane has ordered me to go to Port Peril. But instead I be thinking I'll be striking out for myself. Uh -huh. And all of ye will be helping me. And that's as far as the recording goes. Ah, oh, stupid parrot. <laughs> Didn't remind the tape into ah. Uh, it ate the tape. <laughs> In order to go to Port Peril, but he's gonna, gonna strike out for himself, okay? That is actually a recording device that could eat the tape. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not digest it, but hey. Okay, well, I tell it to, to delete the last message and go back on board.
The parrot would now self destruct. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so it seems that like the captain is striking out for himself. He has the same idea we do, but we want to do this a bit more fun. And also, what happened to our uh, two friends? Uh, yeah. Was it? It was... Uh, Jape um, and Coswell? Yeah, Jape and Coswell. Where the okay. fuck did they go? Well, they've just been ordered that they're now sleeping in the officer's quarters. Are they? Is that pretty cool? Why Jape and Coswell? Okay, Jape for the muscle and Coswell. Because why? For the violin. Sex. Or sex. Mm, okay, so Jape for the sex and uh, Coswell for the muscle. Yep. Sounds right. <clears throat> I think that's, you know, as far as the stuff goes for the night. Aye, hey, all right. Well, a new day dawns. Um, and one second, second, I, I, I didn't take yeah. any actions, but what I'm thinking is, using my profession weapons, can I basically like build traps with that, or is there actually like a traps skill which would be required? Uh, they they used they, they used to be one, but yeah, might be a survival. Because I'm, I'm just trying to figure out if basically, could I basically make some form of like, um, I don't know, you know, traps in doorways and things like that, which we can basically set the day before we, we new to sort of thing. It is indeed a craft skill. Right, so traps is a separate craft skill, I wouldn't be able to do it with weapons. No. Right, okay. That answers that then, thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't do anything this evening then. Basically, your entire knowledge about crafting traps goes as far as Alan Schwarzenegger's trap skills in the Prada. I, I make spears, I put them into a pit, I cover the pit with leaves. There we go. Now we need to find a and no one there. wonders why there's now a bush on, on the ship <laughs> <laughs> with plenty of sticks sticking out. I just need to find a log and tie it to the mast. Mm. Well, well we, we, we could get Albert and tie him to the mast and swing him. Yeah. Where is he, by the way? I think uh, he's the officers, isn't he? Yeah, he wasn't on the ship. Oh, he's on the ship. With the officers, then? No, oh, he's in the officers' quarters, okay. No, because he was usually bound somewhere. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's like I didn't see him bound anywhere, so he's obviously in the officers' side. Since so that's the one place we're not allowed to go. However, well, if I'm sure, I'm sure that if I teleport myself off to the south here... No, actually no, I can't even look through windows. Uh -huh. <laughs> Damn, chip thought of everything. Ah, arr. Yar. So, a new dawn rises? Aye. Well, this, uh, wait, when did we yep. mention uh, mutiny? That was yesterday, yeah? Yep. Yeah, we said it. We said give it a couple of days to rest up and everything. Get make sure everyone's ready and prepared. So you should, yeah. you should probably start preparing for said mutiny then. Mm. I've got my weapons. I'm good. Well, yeah. Basically, do we have any kind of plan how we could do this? Well, what I'm wondering, but I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how I could do this without basically being you know, Mogorg and. Booming, booming, booming this out in his broken English. Can I point something up then? Like, I think we should um, like make a disturbance on deck. If people, like, like the officers don't come out, we go in through that kitchen entrance. Hmm. This is what I was, yeah, what I want, so out of game, I want to know how big that trap door up to the captain's quarters is. I want to know, can I basically go in there at night and then go and cut scourges and kill and uh, plugs heads off. Well, it's big enough for you to go in there, yes. Okay, so it's definitely like orc sized. For, I can get through it. Well, it's. Yes, it's big enough for someone to move through, yes. Okay. Got 
You see, th th this is this is what uh, I'm really bad at being able to help with the planning here because a I'm playing a character that speaks broken common and two he can't really speak it quietly. So it's more you've got to tell me what you want me to do, guys, <laughs> or I'm just going to go and do whatever the hell I want. Yeah. So um, the disturbance on deck is not a bad idea. I mean, if we had Jape out. And you could persuade him to stage a fight between you. Mm -hmm. Or, actually, if you guys could just persuade to uh, do mock arm wrestling and see what happens as a form of entertainment. See what happens, who intervenes. And uh, in the meantime, you know, oh yeah, here we go. So say that the officers come out. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, Lando basically slips up, uh, slips up through the um, window. Yeah, 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 through the through the hatch, uh, and uh, locks the doors from inside, bars them basically. Then we have everyone out in the open. Okay, so your plan is basically, let's do something at night, is the way it's sounding. Yeah, I mean, if we want to go sneaky and just uh, cut, the necks, uh, cut their necks, well, that's I, probably I, safer. Well, I was thinking, what if, we, what if we set up a disturbance during the day? You know, I don't know, let's say we knock one of them overboard. One of their side, we, you know, we accidentally knock one of their side overboard. We do that at a specific time. Which is when I just happen to have come up from the bilge, grabbed my weapon. So I'm fully armed and ready to go. Me too. You the yet, or...? So I just, I kind of feel that, you know, being able to set something around a specific time, especially during the day when, yes, they're all going to be out, but they're going to be scattered. Because they're also doing jobs as well. Oh. True. We so, people... yeah. We can get people to shadow other people, and then when, when shit goes down, that the left will have a surprise attack on, on them. Mm -hmm. uh, is it possible to bar the doors to the captain's quarters and the officer's quarters from the outside? Ship. Uh, well, you re have to have some way of doing it. I, I doubt it. The doors probably open inwards anyway. Mm, probably. We don't normally have doors to open out onto the deck. The doors because, have like uh, big handles, or like, can we can we shove an oar through it from one of the boats? No. Oh, okay. That's my suggestion. Yeah, or just sneak up and tie the handles together. Could do. Piece of rope. You, as a rigger, would know how to do this. Probably. Because if we can isolate the officers from the rest of the 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 crew, dust off the crew, and then deal with the officers, that'd be the way to go. Exactly. Or what Ed said: take out the officers and then intimidate the rest of you crew, and then take out whoever we need to take out. Yeah, so basically, oh, yeah, I, I basically suggested both. <laughs> yeah, two approaches in that case. We just need to choose one. One is, is uh, during the day where we uh, delay the officers by basically closing the doors and, and keeping them closed for as long as possible while we uh, finish off the crew. Uh, or the other way around, a night attack when we basically go out and slit as many throats as possible. Do you want to discuss this with your friends? Or do you just want to keep this completely internal? I think we'll discuss it. I would say we don't want to do it while the other side are currently around. Oh, so you'll wait until mm. the evening and try to... Okay. But then again, I'm not the one that's going to be doing the talking here. So. That is true. Yeah, let's just wait what happens in the evening. See if Jape and uh, Cosmo come back. The deal there is... Well, you still have your daily rolls. 
Okay. Oh yeah. I do remember your fatigue checks as well. You always have to do them. Oh, I thought, uh, thought it was only free. Um, no, no, free. you always because you're working uh, hard. Sorry. Um, I'm not working hard. Sorry. You're not working hard. No. Profession. A nine. Um, wow. Did I roll a one? Shit. You want uh, to roll a two? Oh shit. Shit. I, I didn't declare it, but I was going to be working diligently. Oh, fair enough. Um, so that gives me a 12, and then a fatigue check as well. I remember the DC for your normal checks are plus 2. That's 12, so it's... Um, yeah. even oh with, shit, that's a fail with, then for me, with, isn't with it? With diligence leave, would I, would, I, would I make it? Yeah, Bilge's is a DC 12. Yeah, I failed. Okay, so I'm exhausted then. Or fatigued, rather. Can I be a little dick on, so I work diligently? Today. Uh, no, wait, no, no, it's exhausting work, so I'm guessing if I fail, I'm exhausted then. If you fail, you're fatigued. No, but man the bilges is exhausting work. Yes, but that's just what it's, what it's called. You have to make an, a check uh, to see okay. if you actually become fatigued. Okay, so I'm just automatically fatigued then because I failed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, same for me, I guess. Are you also fatigued then? If I don't work diligently, I'm fatigued, yeah. Okay. I didn't announce anything for the roll, so... No, I'll allow you to announce it. And I'm not fatigued, I just make it, but I still have to make a constitution check, right? Yep. Uh, that's not good. No, that's not enough. Oh, well. You roll against DC8 for the... Yeah. I would just like to say that trying to maintain relationships in this game is worse than in the bloody Sims. Yeah, no right. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's like, oh, I'll just talk to that person after work. Oh no, uh, something happened at work and now I'm totally and utterly pissed off, so I've got to do other things after work. And you can't just build a pool and then remove all the letters. Yeah, and you can't just tickle someone until they're happy with you again. Yeah, no <laughs> Well, you try could try tickling Jake. I'll tickle Jake. I'll tickle Jake. Yeah, and then, then there's some dwarf that opens his big stupid mouth and fucks yeah. everything up for you. Well then. Yeah, there's the fun, please. We have too much fun. Stop it. <laughs> well, uh, so yeah, what, what could I do during the day? Because I'm actually I'm the only one who has any actions. Um, well, five is shoot the shit, isn't it? So you've got two actions today. You've got talking to the chef, and then you've got whatever your free, your free action is. Yeah. So I'll ask the chef if he's ever used the hatch. I mean, does he deliver food that way, or how does that work? I could confirm that the captain likes to have his own private meals. He's a bit paranoid, that one. Hmm. I was thinking the exact same thing. Do we have any kind of poison? As nope. dishonorable as that would be, and Morgok would never approve of it, but... No one has poisoned you, so, you know, the chance of you poisoning yourself while poisoning someone else is quite high. <laughs> I ain't so going That's only go if you apply it to a weapon, of course. But you don't actually have any poison on you either. Exactly. Well, not just poison on the ship. It's entire, it's, you know, it's an entire lot of things. Well, apparently everything's fucking ransacked, so all the poison's probably in the captain's quarters anyway. Wait, 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 hold on. I got a poisonous fucking frog. Can I milk that somehow? How did you get a <laughs> frog? Oh, just summon, summon creature. It. <laughs> that damn it. Summon bigger fish. <laughs> I'm still waiting for you to use that. <laughs> How are you now? Would that even be possible? I don't think so. No. Probably something that says that's not going to work. If you just dump a fr poison frog into like a, a boiling pot, it's just going to die. Not if you don't, not if you boil it slowly. It will sit there. Exactly. That is true. But then again, it will, it will disappear after a very short while. 
Yeah, the summon creature doesn't last that very long. Oh. At this level. Well, anyway, so I don't think we have any chance of poisoning poisoning the captain. Um, so, for my second action, I mean, basically, okay. Uh, if I just poke my head above decks and just observe who's up uh, on deck, who's doing what, what, what are the routines? I mean, basically, who is outside during the day? Well, everyone is outside during the day. Okay. Even the captain. Okay. Everyone except for Owl Bear. So this is starting to look like maybe we need to do a um, nighttime attack. Like I said, if we can knock some people overboard at a, a specific time, it does help us out. Oh yeah, since this is the day, where the fuck is Jape and um, Coswell? Coswell. Well, oh, they're also on deck. They were just to oh, yeah. talk to Jape. Talk to Coswell. No, I would talk to Coswell, but I am. Uh, at work, definitely not being fatigued. Mm. So, I ready to move towards the lovely, lovely dinner? Yeah. Hey, so you work as hard as you can, some more so than others. Especially one half hour. He's a wee bit tired after all his hard bilging. Bilging? <laughs> you have your dinner of sea biscuits and rum, and you start to buckle down for another night of rousing fun, or the severe lack of thereof. And it'd be time for your night actions. What you be doing? Well, right, so it's... who's missing? Yeah, who's who's on deck or below deck or wherever the fuck we gather to do this? Well, Master Scourge is in his quarters. The same with Captain Block. The rest of the crew are on deck. So no one is missing tonight from the regular crew. No. In that case... Um, I approach Jape. What's his sort of uh, reaction? Well, he just looks at you. He's not scowling at me, he's not looking at me lovingly and longingly. Well, he always makes googly eyes at you. <laughs> <laughs> you can always see the a single sparkle in his eyes. Uh, I guess uh, I ask him in Orkish, changing sides. And he ju he just looks from side to side and shakes his head. I uh, um, put him on the sh put my hand on his shoulder and say, "Good." Oh, the old field trip. He's, tr he's trying to be he's trying to bribe them, but I think he's managed to piss them off enough that at least our loyal ones and our friendly ones aren't going to turn, unless they're completely chaotic evil. I'm gonna talk to Coswell then. If you're done with Jake, of course. Yeah, yeah. Unless Chip wants a roll. What are you trying to do? A influence check on him? I. Uh, I guess it's. I guess that was an intimidation. Yeah. <laughs> then give me a roll. Okay. Fourteen plus two for crew plus whatever bonuses. Hey, hey nothing happens. We just have a nice talk. 
one side to talk. Yeah, he's, just <laughs> saying, he's, he's talking and he wants to... In orcish consisting of three words. <laughs> yeah, that was actually three words. Nice yeah. talk. You see, that's how talking works with Jape. I just kind of picture you talking just being like... Mm, 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 mm. Well, yeah, it's in orcish as well, so... <laughs> I'm losing peanuts now, guys. Well, I've got to talk to Cuswell then. Alright. So... What was uh, going on in the officer's side then? Yesterday. Yeah, Blatant, slimy, baboon, smelly, jelly, bone bastards! Oh, sorry, Landra. I didn't see you coming there. Mm -hmm. Uh, you might have seen that the chimp face Bill's drinking daft bastard put me in the officer's quarters with all the rest of the loyal crew. I did, and what was the... Scary, mud swinging blithering Davy Johnson scuttling daft bastards. Uh -huh. She's tripping over her words now. Uh-huh, so... What's going on? Uh, it seems like the... The scuttling, spewing, powder monkeys want me, wants to make sure that Jeep and I uh, kept a proper eye on. Apparently, like, they'd be smelling some trouble. Good. That's, you know, you know at least they're getting there. <clears throat> hey, those damn pox red and scallywags. I hear you. Did they do another sense bonus check? See what's, uh, you know. Alright. Going on on the underneath the cursing. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> you just said anger. Lots and lots of anger. Good. Good. You can see the anger seething off of her. Yes, young Skywalker. <laughs> Let your hate die, yeah, you. Strike me down. Exactly. So I'm guessing that the go word for the mutiny is going to be Execute Order 66. <laughs> order 66, yeah. yeah. Order 66. Good, 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 good. Well, you know, uh... So at what point can we actually, you know, just have a little chat with the rest of the crew without having um, you guys, the loyals around? You guys could, I don't think you could, I don't think we could really have it all in one go, but we can sort of like with one or two people at a time. Well, during sort of thing. the night, all the loyal crew members uh, adjourn into the officers. Okay, uh, so they along leave. With, okay. Along with the two, your two friends who have also been recruited into the officers' quarters. Okay. So all basically, right. you're left with your remaining friends below deck. Okay. okay. So basically, what we have here is uh, two people that are supposed to report on us. Uh, we have this thing where the officers retire to their cabin for dinner during dinner time. So we have a lot of options here right now. I mean, if if uh, we if we kick this off around dinner time. By just you know, I having think. having our guys shadow the rest and just either backstabbing them or just ch ch chucking them overboard, whatever. Uh, while uh, what's his name? Plug and uh, the other one, Scourge. Plug, Scourge, and uh, Al there are basically somewhere else I'm, at the time. I, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. Um, so, I'll, 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 so I'll try and I'll pick this. Okay. So I, I, I sort of just I look I look around and I say, "Use Albear." Oh. Distraction. Well, the problem with Albear is my good old friend. Um, he's very afraid of you, as well. I release him. Hmm. But when? What is how you When do you release him? Tomorrow oh, noon. 
Yeah, you kid. And how would that be a distraction? I send Albear running out of quarters. Tell him to kill Scourge. Why do you think he will listen? He fears me. He also fears Scourge. We don't I, 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 I literally just cock my head at you. <laughs> yeah, well. As you as say, like, are you, you think he's gonna not just run out and try and get revenge on Scourge? If he's been... <clears throat> I'll use a, a foreign term. If he's been ramsied or reeked into submission huh. it's a foreign term you know it's, uh, then if I'm he, not sure if he won't he dies and I will come out hmm. mm, let's consider that one but let's consider also a, 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 a two stage approach because if we do this around uh, dinner time it's not dinner time, it's noon. We don't eat at noon. Yeah, I, I know, but yeah, we, that's, that's we, like kick we, we kick it off during the evening meal instead. That means that uh, Plug, Scourge yeah. and Albert will be uh, nicely tucked away in their cabin. Yeah. And then if like... we get our, uh, our little friend here that was handy with the ropes to maybe, uh, you know, Tie the door handles together so that they can't be opened easily. Well, I like the well, the whole uh, getting Albert to our side is a, is 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 a very good idea. That's um, problem is it's very iffy if we if we will change sides because we don't know who he fears most. But the two pronged attack, um, we could uh, like us three mm -hmm. slip in uh, via the the chef's entrance. And have the rest block the doors, like you know, make make a line. Uh, you know, make well, make a line here so that the loyalists can't get through. Basically, them starting a fight outside. We well, while we inside kill the officers, and then come out and then mop up the rest. Maybe. Question is just how do we get into the cabin? We're we're going to be entering through. Uh... Uh, Chef's a little file. Yeah, yeah. Single file, straight really. into the captain's quarters. Yeah, yeah, well, we can burst in. Edge goes, edge goes <laughs> bursting in. Bursting edge in works right. when you're running no. like hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't really burst in going up. I've got a climb. You, you, you have a surprise. Yeah, well, oh, no. oh, you can you, you can climb up, and you know start start kicking some heads, and then the two of us will come up. And we will have a fight. Well, you could just toss an Uma. <laughs> you just yell, SURPRISE! And then fall down again. I was gonna say, it's gonna have to be me that does the tossing, so, you know... <laughs> that kind of so, uh, ruins the element okay, Are you talking to yourselves, or are you actually talking with the remainder of your friends? That I think, also I think at this point, if, if it is just us, then yeah, we're definitely talking with everyone else so right. I mean I guess with with having the two options I'll look to everyone else and say two choices and then, hmm. well, we, your we, thoughts? We, can basically have, we can basically have this discussion with them I mean you know all right that like like the, like the three of us can go into the secret hatch while they start a ruckus outside and keep the door closed on the outside and you know send off the loyalists I don't like that idea. I really don't like that idea. Why not? What's, what's, what's wrong with it? The general consensus among the crew, your friends, is that they, they, they would definitely advise going for the officers, taking out the captain, yeah. and trying to get the rest to just surrender. Yeah, that's... Well, then we, could, we can all burst in, but the problem is we'll, 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 it's, it's the same idea. So the only time that Scourge and Plug are alone is basically dinner at dinner. Yes. The Loyalists are all out on deck with us at dinner time. 
Is that true? You can also wait until night when everyone is asleep. That way it's only you and your friends. You'll be relying on stealth checks and I don't want to do anything relying on stealth checks. <laughs> well, you well, have no dick at that point. It's sleeping in the hammocks. Right beside the galley. Still gonna need stealth checks and I'm a six who, foot who, who, wait, 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 in stealth. <laughs> who's gonna be sleeping down Say that again. Who's gonna be sleeping in the hammocks beside us? Us, the well, rebels. Let's just show you. Yeah. I'm just gonna start calling us the rebels and the and the loyalists now. <laughs> the Imperials. Basically that's what it looks like at the during the night. So it's just us down here and then all the officers <laughs> are up in the officers area. And I'm guessing Fish got sleeps in the galley. He sleeps in his uh, little cabin. Yeah, so so all the so all the loyalists also sleep up where the officers are. The loyalists and the two of your friends sleep up by but the not the same room. It's the same area, not the same room. Same room. The officers' quarters is at the what's it called? The front of the ship. It's the front of the ship. Uh, the fore castle? No, that is. It's no, it'd be, it'd be un it'd be underneath the fore of the ship, basically. The bow. The bow, yes. They sleep in the quarters at the bow of the ship. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll just I'll just move myself up there. Uh, yeah, basically, so is it, is it the front or the back? Because. Yeah, if, if you, guys, if you move up onto the very top layout of the ship, yes. you'll see that at the front here you've got the two sets of stairs and then there's a gap. Basically, they yes. go under there. So so, so that's where the officers are? Yes. yes uh, oh, yeah, well, that, that makes everything much better. Yeah, no, because I, I, no, I thought this was the officers' uh, area. Where, where no, everyone, that's the uh, uh, captain's cabin. Yeah. What? <clears throat> are we more freaking confused? Captains at the back, officers are at the front. Yeah, exactly. So we don't have to actually like do anything with this then. Okay. No. Yeah. So, so what's the problem with going up the secret thing that goes up to the captain's area? Well, yeah. lo well just like do I it, said, just the, do it during the night. Yeah, like I said, the thing I was always concerned about was that it was single file, and maybe it did link off. I thought, like you, the officers were at the rear, but they're not. They're in, they're in the front. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's what I mean. Like, so if if, if we go up we single file, it, does, it doesn't matter. Does, it doesn't matter that we go at the, a single file if we overpower them because there's, there's, there's only one or two dudes there. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I mean. And, and it doesn't even matter if we make noise and fail uh, sneak checks. Honestly, exactly. so, it'll be easier if we don't fail the sneak checks. Exactly. But so if in, in in this case, can we at night block up like? This, this this part where all the loyalists sleep and then have our our friends outside to catch said loyalists if they do barge in and meanwhile we'll just go deal with the captain at night slits fucking throat. Yeah, okay, so here's the plan. The loyalists go up on deck here. Mm -hmm. the rebels, or they, the rebels. Yeah, the, the the rebels. They deal with this door over here. Uh, yes. close close that off. Uh, and like leave one or two uh, people just to keep an eye on those doors, and then they basically just stand here waiting for whatever. I mean, if we have to yeah. push out of the cabin, uh, you know, then we'll shove. We'll, we'll probably be, be able to shove them out, and then you know we'll have numerical superiority. Perfect. That's that, that's what I meant. But because I thought that the officers were in the back as well, I thought we had to close that off, so we have to that get around. Okay. Well, I'm for now. Okay, okay. With this new information that we have now, mm -hmm. Mogok is actually just going to turn around and say, "Now." Yeah. Honestly, don't see a problem with that. Yep. Except that you're fatigued, probably. Yeah, I am fatigued. Shit. <laughs> there you go. Tomorrow. But, hmm. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow, and let's let our two friends. But tomorrow, and you're relying on me not getting fatigued again, which I did well, today, even working diligently. Yeah, well, that's the, no, well, that's that doesn't matter. But uh, I, I want Coswell so, and Jake to know what's going on when it's yeah, going on. Right, I don't want okay. them to be stuck in there. Okay, so uh, so this has been a discussion with all the rebels, yeah. Yep. Uh, yes. Well, except for the two of them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Captive, so, basically. The, the so entire Rebel Alliance that is currently here. 